Really grand back there. We do have the LOD back there, which is crazy. Man, today we're taking a look at Second Chance Toys. Going to be going on a WWE toy hunt here for Toylanta. We're going in here to find out what we got. We've done a video here before. Also, the wind's blowing like hell, so I apologize for the mic. You didn't tell me you've been but, here. Yeah, I've been here before. I made a whole video here by myself one time, and the whole store was empty. It was actually quite nice. But we're going to go in here, see if we can find some new stuff, and it should be a fun time. All right, man, found the wrestling section right here. We have some, uh, some AEW. We've got some Ultimates up here. We got some legends. We got one of the best elites ever. We have Elite Series 91 Rob Van Dam. Elite 44 Sasha. That's a flashback. I remember the head sculpts on this were absolutely abysmal. But maybe we'll get a w or an AEW figure of her very soon. We have Defining Moments Undertaker. I remember when that used to shelf one like crazy. But I remember, um, you know, now it's kind of hard to come after. So there's the Defining Moments Undertaker. Did you see that snake the tree? Snake the Jake. Let's get it down. Snake the Jake Legends for this. Dude, Jake the Snake has quite a few figures now, but I like this packaging, man. I just like, I like the, the gear. Yeah, the gear's fire. Literally. Then we have uh, some AEW. We have Stacy. We have Molly Holly. We have an Asuka Elite 47. Do you still have this figure at your house, or did you send it back with me? No, I got it. You got it? 25's not bad on that right there. I believe you believe you got it? Rest in peace to Black and Gold NXT. That was the that was the best. I might actually grab this twenty bucks for that. I think I need it for parts. We'll see about that. I have an idea for a, for a custom on this one. But Network Spotlight Bailey. We have a Top Picks Jeff. We got Scarlet back there. We have China. We have all right. We have a lot of Lucy's too, which we'll get into. And they have a massive cabinet over there, which I do want to get into. Uh, with, you know, just your your obvious ones here. We do have Tyler Breeze. We have Charlotte, we have Fandango, nothing too crazy there. A lot of this is just old stock AEW, nothing to write home about there, but we do have some loose C's down here. Let's get down here. AJ Styles, we have, dude, I mean, that'll take forever to go through this, but is this a shirt on here? Oh, I thought that was cloth goods at first, but, so we have a Neville basic. We got, okay, so this, we got bone crunchers and stuff, some basics. Nightwing, Kevin Nash, Seth Rollins, Durant. I think this is all basics right here. Yeah, it looks like all basics. Oh, Elite 47 boss, man. Hold up now. Hold up now. $10 on that? I might have to buy that. Big boss, man. Mm -hmm. Elite, 10 bucks. Hold that. I think that's a cop right there. We have GM Kurt Angle. We have, ooh, Zombie Finn. I have some other others. I may want to complete the set there. Sami Zayn. Nice little Randy Orton. Dean Mean Machine, we got Elias, we got AJ, another GM Kurt, not much else I don't think, oh we have an Enzo, is that a battle pack, Enzo, I don't think that's the unreleased one, but still a cool figure nonetheless, we have Titus O'Neil, we got, oh my god, I forgot those guys even existed, AJ, AJ, bless AJ, is that a basic Mankind, or is that the Elite, hold up now, okay, no, it's just a basic Mankind, okay, we have Jericho, and we have Triple H, and then over on this side, I'm gonna have to put all these damn figures back on the shelves, man, hate to see it. We got Sammy, we got Daniel Bryan, we have Randy Orton, Sheamus, uh, I don't think we have anything, yeah, just same basics. Alright, well, need to go look at the Elite cabinet, there's a massive cabinet over there full of Elites, so we'll go over there and look, but we do have Ultimates, got The Rock, Stone Cold, Ric Flair, Nothing I need, but, you know, we're going to go over there to the cabinet because there's a massive cabinet full, but I'm definitely getting that boss, man. Oh, well, man, here's the cabinet. This is a massive cabinet full of loose WWE elites. And there's some jacks in here, too, and some AEW. I think this is the Chase loose Danhausen right here, but I don't know, man. Prices are kind of out of my range, I think, on some stuff. But we do have some loose elites. I thought about that Lord Tensai back there. Missing that in the collection. We have a Lundra Blaze. Some loose elites. Got Superstar Billy Graham back there. We do have the LOD back there, which is crazy. Got Animal and Hawk back there. Men on card. That's a crazy snag right there. Would you want to do it? You know, should, we, should we purchase that men on card? Those are absolutely yeah. beautiful. I wish I could pull the trigger on those. That would be amazing to do. Defining Moments Brett back there. We do have some grails in here, which is crazy. We have the Ultimate Edition Gobbledy Gooker. Elite 12 Randy Orton. Very cool. We got New Jack. 
Just some random figures. Wendy Richter back there. There's definitely some figures here that I don't have in the collection that I'd like to fill the holes, but Ultimate Edition Finn, the original Ultimate Edition Rock, the Defining Moments Chris Jericho and Ric Flair. And then we have Ringside Exclusive Jericho back here and Attitude Era. And then we have some Chase AEW figures. Thought about getting that MJF too, but I think I might be able to get a better deal. Captain Lou representing. Snake but Snake Jake. Five bucks. You gonna cop it? Yeah, I'm gonna get the the hottie two Scotty. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's actually the greatest hits. That just re-released. I've never seen it. It was originally a Legends, and then they re-released in the greatest hits line. Oh, we got Luke Gallows over here. We got Champa, Elite 69, beautiful figure. Oh, ringside exclusive Finn. That actually might be a purchase right there. 25. The two Scotty. Notice the difference. It's 50, but with the hat, it's 75. 25 hat. <laughs> Good point, good point, Brad. Just some loose elites up here. Really cool display. I like how it looks. I wish my collection could look like this. Buy a massive cabinet and just fill it up. Imagine, like, this whole section right here. What if you had this entire section of Cena, mm -hmm. like, with the risers and stuff, and you'd have him here in the middle with his championships, no, and then, like, be, be cooler. buy the whole case and, like, put championship belts and memorabilia and the wristband that you caught and all that? I mean, yeah. I've, oh, so your man filled the whole case up. Yeah. Filled the whole case up with Cena. Yeah, that would be amazing, too. Usos look good here with the kendo sticks. We got ringside exclusive cane, which is actually being re-released now in the From the Vault series. Got Arn Anderson back there, Ziggler, Elite 55 Taker, got Kane up here, Carl Anderson. It's a ton of figures, man. Really nice this way. They have way more than they did last time I was here, which was a year or two ago, I think it was. Got American Dragon right here, IRS, Elite 18 Undertaker. We got Luke Gallows, Dean Ambrose, then now forever together, four pack Hogan. <laughs> We're actually legitimately getting this robe from Mattel in that new Legends of the Territory set. Elite 69 Lashley. We got Elite 57 Hardy. Yeah, that's what it would be. We got some loose elites up here. I mean, the whole thing's full of loose elites, but you know what I mean. We have some women's figures down here. Survivor Series Elite John Morrison, the Big E, Randy Orton. Yeah, man. Pretty cool. Pretty cool selection. Nice Elite 99 Rollins right there. Kevin Owens. Oh, he's got the classic scratch logo US title right there. He came with the modern version, but it's pretty nice. You got the Earthquake, or the Shark, I should say. Ty Dillinger. Yeah. Is that Road Dogger for 15? I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Swan back there looking good. Elite 47 Cesaro. That terrible WrestleMania 34 Randy Orton head sculpt. I hate that figure. God in heaven makes me want to throw it out in the yard. Well, I got Sandow right here in the road. That's a nice road. And she's in three. Rocky Maya Villa. Uh, There's a ton of figures in here. I'd love to see it. A lot of haul. Like, I, I'm yeah. missing a lot of these figures, actually. That so, I'm going to have to make some make some decisions. Got Hogan on top. So like, but now that I've seen this case, I want a case like this at my house. Because if you can get this case and fill it up with certain superstars, like imagine, I'm just imagining all the Cena's on the acrylic risers all together. Like I mean, any. That'd be really nice to see. So over here, they also have a loose bin right here, just full of wrestling figures. Now these are gonna be more like older figures. They do have like Zombie Asuka right there. I would like to have a full set of those after obtaining them little by little over the years. But here's Austin. I don't think he ever wore that gear, Brad. He never wore that gear. No big deal. You ever wore knee pads over the pants like that, man? I don't think so. Back in 91. Back in 91. Yeah. Oh, dude, cameraman? Oh, yeah, that face. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. He's just saw a gigantic spot. Camera's sick. I've seen people do really cool displays with those, actually. Does this look like Scott Hall to you? Oh, you kids don't know nothing about that. That's suffocation hazard right there. You got Shamrock? God in heaven, you thought that cameraman had seen some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we actually got this in elite form. Got Bone Cruncher Sean. They need to redo that elite. That network spotlight. That network spotlight. 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 Spotlight elite. They need to redo that figure or greatest hits or something like that. Got Owen looking pretty good here. So all these right here are loose. Just a bunch of loose stuff going on. Cool. It's like Hogan's got on a bike helmet and there's the chin strap going all <laughs> Good <on>. God. <laughs> <laughs> got Hollywood Hogan here. His cowboy boots looking clean. Got the giant. <laughs> <laughs> Another bone cruncher, Sean. 
got a, another Kevin Nash. I got to make some decisions here. I don't know exactly what I want to purchase, but we will have to see, man. But, yeah, pretty cool to see, man. I always love taking a trip down memory lane like this and seeing all their selection that they have. All right, man. What else can I... I need to find something for my son and something for my daughter now. Who gets some cars or Buzz and Woody or some Spider-Man or any Marvel character, really? He, he wouldn't care. I'm not buying my wife or kid nothing. <laughs> That's why Dad left. He's on Dad, please. Army got some stuff for the kids now. We are just walking around looking for other places or looking for other stuff here. Some of this stuff is wicked, man. What are these again, Taylor? Tortured Souls, the Clyde Barker design. So what are they? Look at this. He's got like a little sack coming out of the front. It's just tortured people and like different horrible things. Designed uh -huh. by Clyde Barker. He created Hell, Hellraiser. So he's got a wicked mind. Yes. Power Rangers in here, dude. This place is so overwhelming. There's so many things. We got tons of loose stuff, men on card stuff. We got Toby that fell over right there. I like these Batmobiles and stuff up here too. Mm -hmm. Really nice and make for a cool display. I need to look through here real quick and see if I can find something else. Because I think I could like it. I don't know. I'm trying to get him a good deal here, so we'll see. But what do we got? He's just 30 years old. You won't eat you buy it and eat it. It's a dollar. It's like solid. <laughs> solid. <laughs> it's from when? 1997. You won't buy it and eat it? I won't. We need to like bet on something and then the loser has to eat one. Uh, well, that's just it. There is no one. They are all one. <laughs> <laughs> the, that, the one is the whole pack. They have, they have become one. What else we got? We got toothpaste. Batman toothpaste from 1991 and it's from Guatemala. You won't brush your teeth with that? I won't brush my teeth here. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that might help you. All right, man. I think that pretty much wraps up our time at Second Chance Toys. Now we're going to go grab some grub. Where are we eating? Um, chicken. Wait, I don't know. What the did I say? All right. We'll show off the halls and we'll get some grub. All right, man. I got the seafood delight and bread. <laughs> I was finished eating before he finished putting his plate in. It took forever to unload my stuff onto my plate, but it uh, looks good, though. looks good. Anyway. Let's show off the haul. All right, man, back home after the toy hunt. Let's show off what we got, man. I did pick up two figures from Second Chance Toys. It is located close to Atlanta, guys. So if you're in the Atlanta area of Georgia, that is where you need to go. They have some really cool figures of a huge place of just full to the ceiling to the floor with toys and action figures, not only wrestling. I mean, they have so many things, man. It's kind of ridiculous. I didn't really even get to show you a detailed look. I was really just focused on the wrestling today. But I did go ahead and grab this boss man because I used to have this figure, but then I ended up selling it, I think. But it was complete as well. Ten bucks for this figure, I felt like it was a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and snagged it. It even has the glasses in there. So it is complete. He's even got the ski mask and everything in there which is cool so i'm hyped with that hell yeah i'm big boss man right there then i also got the ringside exclusive finn valor of course do have a couple of these figures but i looked on my shelf the other day and i couldn't find i think this is my original ringside exclusive right here with the white shoes but he's missing the teeth on the knee pad right there and then i fixed up my other one and made it like a white kick pad fix up sort of like he wore in what was it like nxt uk when he fought jordan devlin that one time and so I don't think I have like the original figure in its original capacity anymore. So I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and put this back in the collection. Now I may head swap it because I don't really care for this head sculpt to be honest with you. But I love Finn Balor. I like this attire and everything like that. So yeah, we're going to definitely put this figure back on the shelf and fix it up, man. But ringside exclusive Finn Balor and Big Boss Man are the two figures that we picked up here today on this toy hunt out of town, man. I also went to Toy Lanta and I got to be real, man. Toy Lanta was not the best, man. Not the best in my personal opinion, at least for modern action figures. They didn't, I mean, they had a lot of Marvel Legends. They had things like that, but they did not have really any modern wrestling. There was a few different things. I'm going to still try to make it into a video. I did get clips and stuff for a video, but I don't know. We'll see about that, man. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our toy hunt video man thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on the toy store if you guys have ever been there and whatnot and i hopefully hopefully you guys just enjoyed it anyway but huge shout out to our patreon members of the mdt youtube channel man appreciate all you fellas man you guys are absolute goats thank you guys so very much for your support as always that is gonna wrap the video man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my name toys i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i'll catch you later